A bipartisan group of Florida lawmakers gathered on Capitol Hill calling on the Department of Veteran Affairs to allow them to offices that they currently run in veterans hospitals across the state. This is a story we first told you about last week. That's after the agency sent them an eviction notice. A Washington, D.C. Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth joining us now live. We know that the lawmakers have been told to vacate those offices. They're doing something, though, to try to prevent that. Well, Tammy, those six Florida lawmakers were pretty shocked when they received those vacation, or those eviction notices rather, uh, last week. And since then, they've been evaluating all of their legal and legislative options, and they've been in constant communication with the agency. It's uh, not the biggest office in the VA, probably no bigger than uh, a glorified broom closet. In this 9 by 11 foot space, staff for members of Congress assist dozens of veterans every single week. It's easy, it's convenient for them. They don't have to travel to my district office. Representative Brian Mast, an Army veteran who lost both legs and a finger while serving in Afghanistan, knows firsthand how beneficial these offices are to constituents. The most frequent time that I've had veterans reach out to me and saying they're in a moment of crisis because of something that happened inside of the VA hospital. Now this group is fighting to keep their doors open after the department sent them this eviction notice. I'll tell you what the impact is and that's by the year's end, um, Florida veterans will no longer have an advocate inside these facilities. Representative Darren Soto sat down with the acting VA Secretary Robert Wilkie this week. And while he did not receive any assurances about the offices, he did secure a commitment from the secretary that he would visit. He'll see the good work be going on there. We're collaborators. We're not there to disrupt services. But the delegation isn't taking any chances. They introduced a bill which would allow others to open congressional field offices in VA hospitals. I don't think there's any government out there that wants 435 members of Congress uh, constantly, you know, putting them under the microscope. And as painful as that might be uh, to have that increased oversight for the VA or any federal agency, they should be begging for it if it means making that a better agency, especially one that serves our nation's veterans. How that bill has been referred to the House Committee on Veterans Affairs. We're live on Capitol Hill this evening. Samantha Giroth, Spectrum, News 13.